Hello, this is History Hub, and welcome to the video. Today, I'll be talking about the first Australian tunnelling company and their actions on Hill 60. The image currently on your screen is an image of the first Australian tunnelling company. All following images will be of Hill 60 in April 2018. The Australian official history observed that at Hill 60, underground warfare reached a tension which was not surpassed anywhere on the British front. Tunnelling at Hill 60 began in August 1915 and on the 7th of November 1916, the first Australian tunnelling company took over, tasked with keeping the main tunnels and explosives intact, ready to be blown at the start of a major battle. The Australians weren't used to tunnelling in clay, but worked in four-day shifts and they completed drainage and ventilation shafts, becoming engaged in the underground war. Both sides attempted to locate opposing tunnels. They set up listening posts in the shallows about three metres below the surface, a nerve-wracking job as shells could collapse the post and bury men alive. When enemy tunnels were detected, often in the deeps, about eight metres below the ground, tunnellers would dig towards them and set off explosive charges. In April 1917, the Germans raided the British trenches but failed to locate the tunnel entrances. Meanwhile, the Australians tunnelled deeper, risking carbon monoxide poisoning and flooding to get underneath the German tunnels. Germans were detected digging towards one of the main tunnels, but before they could reach it, the British mines were detonated, signalling the start of the Battle of Messines. Between November 9, 1916 and the 7th of June, 1917, approximately 30 men of the 1st Australian Tunnelling Company lost their lives at Hill 60. Some were killed in action, while others died in accidents or from illness. The single worst loss of life occurred on Anzac Day, April the 25th, 1917, when a detonator exploded and brought down the underground headquarters, killing three men and suffocating several others. A member of the rescue party also died. Over the course of the war, the company lost more than 90 men on active service. Thank you for watching this video on the first Australian tunnelling company. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more content. Thank you.